Hey guys and welcome to JTechWP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add custom SVG graphics to Elementor Pro. The main advantage of using SVG is that you can scale it up to any size and it's going to look sharp no matter what you do with it. Elementor comes with 4000 SVGs built in as standard but what if you need something else that's not in their library? Well that's where Flat Icon comes in. It's a great library with lots of different packs and lots of categories. So you simply choose the category that you want and then we import it into Elementor. If you find this tutorial helpful, please check out my online courses. I've got web design and video production and filming courses. Links are in the description below. Elementor has a great library of SVG icons, but what about if you can't find what you're looking for and you want to upload your own? Well, there's a great site called Flat Icon. For this site, I want to upload some horse icons. So I found the one I want by doing a search. We press download the pack. Go for the free download. Please credit the author if you use these. I've now got a zip file with the horses.zip, double click it or extract it if you're on a PC. When I open the folder, you'll see we've got different versions. The ones we want to use are the ones called SVG. So it's this one here. I can now go back to my page, click on the icon, I can delete this one, upload SVG. Elementor gives us a warning because there are some bad SVG sites on the internet. Most of the ones that come up in the top search results are okay, like icon pack. I'm gonna press enable. And now I can drag in my SVG. So I choose the one that I want, drag it in, insert media, and we can customize it from here by clicking on the edit, and then I can go into the style, and I can change the color to whatever I want. So there's our primary color, that's changing the background, secondary color, that's the actual icon itself. And there you go, that's how you add custom SVGs to Elementor. If you want to upload the entire library, click on your icon, remove this one, upload SVG, open your file, select all and drag them in. This may take a few moments. The beauty of doing it this way, you can click on an icon, change it quickly. If I want to change this one, I can click on it, press upload SVG, and then I can use my icons from this pack here. And that's how you do lots of icons. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.